links in the video, but I thought I'd ask for invitation for it, link in the description. Hello, this is the video. You probably know what we're going to do today since you have read the title. Now, we're going to need two things. First are the installation files, either from an ISO or a Windows 8 CD. Second is a computer. There are two parts in this tutorial. First is getting the installation files either from extracting or copying. And second is making the tweak so that next time you try to install Windows 8, you skip this part where you have to enter the product key. I got an ISO here, which is a digital file of an optical disk, which I downloaded from a website. Once you got WinRAR installed, right click on the ISO and press extract files to extract it. Put the files wherever you want. I made a folder in the desktop called Windows 8. Press OK and wait. Once you are done extracting the files, you can now skip through the tweaking part. I got an ISO here, so right click and click mount. You can also have softwares that mount ISO files. Or, if you have a disk of Windows 8, insert it in an optical drive. Then go to my computer or whatever you call it and go to the drives. Usually the one with the name Windows and its CD drive is the one we are going to select. Right click on it and click open or just double click it so you can view its files. Now we have the files. Select them all. Press Ctrl A and copy or drag and drop the files wherever you want. I already made a folder and put the files in there. And now you have to inevitably wait for it to finish. Once that the copying has finished, we can now go to the tweaking part and continue the tutorial. Now open up Notepad and type these out. Usually this configuration is the one you are probably going to use, but you can change it to whatever is your liking. Whether you want a core version, or have an OEM type, and or a volume license. I recommend not using OEM or making the volume license have a value of one unless if you have those kinds of licenses that you are going to use in the future. Now to save this, go to File, Save As, go where you have put the installation files and go to Sources. And it is important to change your Save As type as All Files and change the file name into ei.cfg. Then Click save. Now you have done the tweak. Now you can put those installation files into a bootable drive like a CD or a USB. But that's another video I guess. I have loaded Windows 8 here so that we can see the results. Or whether you're going to see it but you won't probably notice it. But as you can see here, it's installing or starting up. If you wish to, to read the license agreement, I don't really care, but do you have a time to read this? Now we're just going to click accept and click next. And you probably notice we don't have to enter any product key. Quick notes, sometimes Windows will nag you with this screen and some features are disabled, like customize and stuff. So you still need to activate your Windows 8 with the product key. Enjoy and thank you for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want more and like or dislike or comment for your opinions or suggestions. See you on another video.